please make sure you check out our friends at PlayAsia, the number one site for Japanese games and merchandise. For many, Hitman 2 was people's first experience with the now massive Hitman franchise. It was the first title to be released on consoles instead of only PC, and its huge success helped pave the way for all of the sequels and even movies that followed. However, not everybody was so impressed by the title. Over 100 Sikh organisations banded together to campaign against what they described as a highly offensive depiction of their religion. They criticised the use of an extremist Sikh cult as one of the game's villainous groups, and how scenes of violence were allowed to take place inside a Gudwara, the Sikh equivalent to a church. In fact, not only was this a Gudwara, but one that appears to portray the holiest of them all, the Golden Temple. This puts the comparison more along the lines of brutally mowing down priests inside the Vatican. The publishers responded with a public apology, removed all related images from the official website and promised to amend these issues in future copies, beginning with the upcoming GameCube release. This means that the original PC, PS2 and Xbox versions are unedited, whilst releases such as the much later HD trilogy and even Steam's are censored. Interesting to point out here though is that unlike Steam, the version available on GOG is actually the original version. There are three levels based around the Sea Court. Temple City Ambush, The Death of Hanalore, and Terminal Hospitality. One of the differences you'll be able to find in the edited versions is that all uses of the word Gudwara has been cut out of dialogue. Here's an example from the original release. 47. This is Agency Diana speaking. Your mission is to gain access to the sacred cult Gudwara through a secret passage from behind one of the shops. And then the edited line. 47. This is Agency Diana speaking. Your mission is to gain access to the sacred cult through a secret passage from behind one of the shops. Here's another use of the word that had to be changed. We better be going. The entrance to the Gurdwara is behind one of the other shops. The dialogue was altered like so. We better be going. The entrance is behind one of the other shops. There was also the removal of a racial slur. In this scene, Agent Smith calls the Sikhs Tau heads, referring to the turbans that they wear. Alrighty then. You see, this is just so typical. I'm here to do some standard surveillance to relax a bit and get back in shape, and suddenly the place is swarming with these towel heads trying to kill me. Rather than just cutting it out, the previous word has been repeated to fill the gap. Alrighty then. You see, this is just so typical. I'm here to do some standard surveillance to relax a bit and get back in shape, and suddenly the place is swarming with these, these trying to kill me. Alongside these edits were graphical changes to several elements that could be seen as offensive. One of these was to numerous carvings that you'd be able to find along the walls of a small temple depicting different Indian gods. In the censored version, the carvings are simply completely removed. Further changes were made to a brand of medicine that you'll be able to find all around the hospital. Whilst originally the medication was called Pharma Shiva and had a picture of the god Shiva on the packaging, this was changed to Medicine Tink, Ting referring to the leader of the cult and with the leader's face replacing Shiva's. Additionally, you'll be able to find many religious posters within the levels that were again replaced with posters depicting the cult leader instead. Alcohol was also removed from certain sensitive places. As you can see here, the alcohol on the table was completely removed. That's the full extent of the changes, and with them, the controversy naturally quickly died down. To just bring up one more point though, on a much brighter note, the devs had a rather remarkable way of handling that age-old dilemma of needing to show characters as they are taking a pee. We're not saying this is censorship, but it is a very unique alternative to a more realistic portrayal of urinating. Until next time, thank you for watching.